something to say, something to say. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Art House 21, and I promised to put together a video where I would do an A to B comparison of these GRP tires and the new tires I picked up from SP uh, from, S from SP Racing Tires. So um, let's go, go ahead and dive on in. So now most of you are familiar with GRPs. You know, you see all the guys using them for high speed runs. In this case, uh, as I've shown before, I refinished these because I couldn't really deal with the lime green color. These are now available in um, black, so you don't have to deal with it. I still like the way that the silver came out. Over these SP Racings, you can see that they are still on the inside, the loud lime green. But I decided to just apply a carbon fiber decal to give it a little bit of a different look. So, and you see in the background, I've got my J. Cole Foams. Now this is actually kind of bittersweet because I've been reserving this set of pristine J. Cole Foams to go for a 100 mile an hour attempt on Slade if that ever came to be. But it looks like, you know, what I'm learning about um, Dizzy with his uh, 100 mile an hour runs, that the Jayco Foams just might not be dur durable enough to hold up on, um, on those runs with a heavier car that you need to go for 100 miles an hour. And I'll get into that in a minute. But let's just jump on in and just start to look about, you know, similarities and differences to these tires. So you see here, I've got my, you know, my very, you know, my precision instrument. So this is just the digital calipers. And most of you guys should be familiar with how these work, but basically it's just, it gives me a digital indicator where I can very quickly measure lengths and distances and such. So let's just jump right on in. So you see these GRP tires. Now these are 3.8 inch tire. And I can just verify that right here. Where you see, I used the calipers and you see 3.74 inches. So just slightly below 3.8 inches. So again, 3.8. So like the 3.74. And last one. I mean, there's no reason to suspect that these would be different from each other. So yeah, okay, just a little, little slight different adjustment. But basically, roughly 3.8 inch. Okay. So let's go ahead and check these SP racings and these should be pretty much identical. So again, you know, so let's readjust. So now, well, I readjusted a little bit and I'm getting 3.8 on the dot here. Let me just go ahead. So yeah, the SP racing are slightly thicker. So you're talking about the difference between 3.8 and the, well, these are coming in at like, Three, just over 3.8 inch. So, yeah. So these are pretty consistent. So the SP Racing tires are slightly larger diameter. That's actually kind of, well, that shouldn't be a very big factor. Um, however, larger diameter does equal a uh, larger circumference, which means you get, you actually cover more distance for the same uh, distance travel or for the same number of revolutions. So all things being equal, that means that the SP racing tires are going to get you slightly, just slightly more ground coverage for the same RPM. Okay. So that's, does that mean anything? Maybe or not. And I'll splice in what the exact difference in circumference is, and then uh, you show roughly like an estimate of at 100 mile an hour let's, i'll use these as a reference so at 3.74 inch circumference at 100 mile an hour if you have the same rpm what that will be for the sp racing tire so my, my guess you know it's it's not going to be huge but you know a lot of times with speed runs we're talking about a, a battle for inches not a battle for feet so just for comparison let's go ahead and check these jayco foams now these guys, you can see, okay, it's foam, so it's a little squishy, so I have to make sure, but yeah, 3.8 inches. So these are right, so just, yeah, almost 3.8 even. So I'll go ahead and check all four just to make sure they're consistent. Yep, right. 3.8. And... 
point it again as well. All right, so I mean, all these tires are basically within a very small fraction of each other. And honestly, once you get these running and you burn, peel out a little bit, yeah, you know, you're going to be laying rubber down on the ground. So after a few runs, you know, the differences between them and the diameter is probably going to be negligible. Okay, so now let's look at the thickness of the tires. So in this case, so with the, I'll just do one for each. So here we see a thickness of, I'll double check, if I get right here on the tread, make sure I'm not getting anything skewed. So I have 1.6 inches here. SP Racing. 1.63, so essentially same thickness as well. And I'll just hold these guys up next to each other. I'll do side by side. So I, you know, so virtually these are essentially the same, exact same size. So now let's go ahead and check out what actually can start to be important to you. Let's look at the weights. And I know some of you guys out there are overseas. Well, overseas for me. So I'll go ahead and I'll put these numbers in metric as well so we can get that. So, all right. So let's look at, I'll just measure in grams. That'd be easier. So I've got it zeroed out. So FP Racing tires. Now these, because I have put this decal on, they're going to be slightly heavier. But I mean, we're talking about you know, very small differences, so we'll just go on from there. So, and it always helps if you turn the scale on. There we go. So, SP tires, this guy weighs in at 96 grams, and that's 3.3 ounces. I'm oh, sorry, that was fluid ounces. He has 3.45 ounces. Okay. So let's go ahead and do all four, just make sure that they're consistent. Get okay, out with 96 grams, 97 grams, and 99 grams. Now that's a little interesting. So that says that, you know, these are all within a couple grams of each other, but there is some variance between the, between the tires. Now, I don't think that that variance is the paper because that's all pretty much exactly the same, but you do have a slight variance in the weight. Let's take a look at the GRPs and see how they do. Okay, I'm measuring 94 grams, which is 3.3 ounces. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these four. That was 93. 93. 93. Oh wait, I got this little nub on there. Let me go ahead and remeasure. I don't think that it was indicating a zero, so I shouldn't have thrown off the results. So let me just out for complete mistake. 94. Yeah, that was nothing. 93. 93. And 94. So all of the GRPs came within the gram of each other. So from a manufacturing variance point of view, the GRPs actually are a little bit more consistent. So, is that really significant? Maybe, maybe not. So, when putting these cars on the car, or sorry, when putting these tires on the car, you probably want to try to balance the weight so that you have the two heavier tires on the same axle as the two lighter, or sorry, two heavier tires on the same axle and the two lighter tires on the other. You can play around with that and you can work with your CG. If it's, will that make a difference in performance of the tires? I don't know. But I'm just coming up with differences and similarities. So just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and weigh these Jayco foams. So, put this down, and 76 grams. Okay, let's just run through like before. 73 grams. 73 grams. 73 grams, okay. So I have one outlier slightly heavier and just because I'm a curious person by nature let me grab one of my other now for those of you who aren't aware they make J. Cole foams in different sizes 
So this here is the size that I use on Dizzy. And just to compare the difference here, now you can see that the one on this, this one is fairly, so did I grab the wrong tire? I grabbed the wrong tire, just a second. Okay. So they make, yeah, so they make, you can kind of see it here, a different aspect ratio. So basically a little bit thicker tire. You can kind of see them a little bit. This one right here is just a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to weigh this guy and see what the difference is on that. So that guy's 86 grams, 82 grams. This one's been all chewed up. I said these are an older set. That guy's 85 grams. So, like I said, oh, and this guy's got a chunk missing, but 86 grams. So basically, what that's saying is that the foam itself weighs almost nothing. So most of the weight's coming from the actual wrap. So, yeah. So these are the actual tires that were on Dizzy with his uh, little burnout mishap. So, so what do we know from looking at these physical comparisons? Okay, well, basically that's saying that these the Jayco foams are the lightest tires in my collection. You know, and that makes perfect sense because they're a foam tire. You know, it just it's logical foam is lighter than rubber. So, what what do these differences really mean? Well, again, looking back at the GRP, you know, you're talking about 94 grams versus 96 grams so from a from an ounce to ounce standpoint that, that that doesn't really give you much of a difference in rotational moment of inertia which essentially is just a measurement of how much mass or how much energy it takes to spin something up so the grps and sp racings are both in the same ballpark so the rotational moments of inertia of these tires should be very very similar which would make sense because the guys who race these things overseas are probably looking for any advantages they can. So they're going to make these things as close as they can as possible. So, you know, these will take similar amounts of energy to spin up, whereas these foam tires are significantly lighter. So it will actually take up less energy to spin these up to a higher speed. So, and for like if you're in carpet racing, indoor racing type environment, these right here probably will they'll be more sufficient to hold up to the weight and to the punishment that you put them through. But for speed run applications, like I said, I'm finding out the foams, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of an issue there. Oh, so I measured the actual, I measured the diameter tire. I didn't actually measure the thickness. Let me go ahead and zero this back out again. Okay. So these GRPs, these right here are 1.95 inches wide. Dizzy's, I believe these are about the same. These are the larger tires, and 1.95. So the only real difference between those two is just the fact that the sidewall is a little bit thicker, which gives you a little bit more diameter. It's like on Dizzy's tire. Well, these have been a little bit worn. They started off life at 4.1. At they are now well, this one's now 3.97. So it is measurably thicker than this one, which is 3.79. So that little bit of a difference actually equates to like a couple extra miles an hour for the same diameter. And I'll spice that in too. So you've got differences in the J-Codes, you have differences in the GRPs and the, and the SP racings. But like I said, and mechanically, what that really boils down to is the lighter tires will spin up a little bit faster. The thicker tires, though, I mean, that extra 20 grams of weight, you can feel it in here. They, these are beefier, and they are much, they're a more solid feeling tire. So they feel more durable. That doesn't really tell you how durable they actually are running, but, I mean, they feel more substantial, and they feel hardier. So, you know, if... Just, if I just had to judge by weight and feel, which one would I think would do a better job of protecting my very expensive car? I have to give the edge to the two rubber tires. 
I mean, the foam pyres, like I said, they, they served their purpose. They did a good job in the 70-ish mile an hour range. I didn't have as good a look with the 100 mile an hour range. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for tuning in. As always, remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix, and do it all over again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and all those other wonderful little social media platforms that you guys like to look at. So remember, you know, keep in there. And um, don't forget to try out something a little bit silly. In this case, you know, both of these were dumb ideas that ended up coming out pretty well. I mean, painting the tires. I think that that finish looks awesome. This right here, I think it looks pretty cool too. I kind of like that one better, but it's not about, you know, really clean contents here. It's about functionality and make functionality that looks good too. So like they said in Toy Story, falling with style. So let's do a little bit of falling with style. Our house 21 signing out. Peace.